Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how I make pan de elote. Now this is sweet Mexican cornbread, very similar to cornbread as we know it, but yet so different. This one is custard-like and it's sweet. You can enjoy it as a dessert or along with your favorite savory dish, and it's very easy to put together. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make it step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today to make my pan de elote. I'll be giving you the amounts as I go along and I'm also gonna put them below in the description box. Now in this bowl, I have four cups of fresh corn off the cob. Now you can use canned corn and if you do, you can use two cans, 15.25 ounces. Just be sure to drain them very well and you can also use frozen corn, but make sure it's well thawed. I've got three extra large eggs one can of 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna be using some all-purpose flour, some regular salted butter, baking powder, some salt, and some vanilla. And I will be using non-stick spray. So now we can take our ingredients over to the blender. So I'm ready to blend. I'm gonna be using my Vitamix blender, but you can also use your food processor if you'd rather do that. Now I'm gonna add all my corn in here and hopefully I won't make a mess. I'm gonna leave about half a cup out or so because I want some texture. And I think that's good right there. Now I'm gonna add my butter. And I'm gonna add my sweetened condensed milk. Oh, this is gonna make it delicious. And that's good. Now I'm gonna add my vanilla. I'm gonna replace the lid and I'm gonna blend it real well. And that's good. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add my three eggs. These are three extra large eggs. My baking powder two teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and seven tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna blend it real well. And that's perfect. Let's take a look at it. See, that's exactly what we want. Now we can put it into our dish. Now here's my blender mixture. See how it's really wet? It's supposed to be like that, see? Now I'm gonna add the rest of the corn that I had set aside. This is gonna give it really nice texture. See, you wanna add it in here. You can blend it all if you want or add the corn at the end so it'll give it really nice texture. And before I put it into my dish, I'm gonna spray the dish with nonstick spray. Now you can also use butter if you'd rather do that, but I like the nonstick spray. It always works perfect for me. That's good. Oof. Now I'm gonna put in all my blender mixture in here. You can use a square dish if you'd rather do that. If you want your pan de lote a little bit thinner, you can use a nine by 13, it doesn't matter. Now this dish is an eight by 11 and it's about two and a half inches deep. So I've got my oven set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it right on the center rack, anywhere between 45 minutes and one hour or until your toothpick comes out nice and dry and you want it to be nice and golden. So I'll see you in a little bit. So here it is. It's been 50 minutes. Now it could be a little different for you because all ovens are different. Now the best thing to do with your pan de lote is to let it settle, let it cool down for at least 30 minutes. Now the longer you let it settle, the better because it'll just get real nice and moist and just the way it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna let it cool down for about 30 minutes and then I'll cut into it. Oh, this is so delicious. Look at this. Nice and golden. See the corn? Hmm. Now it's time for the taste test. Oh man. Mm. Oh.
Mm. Now, if you've tasted this before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that this is absolutely heavenly. And if you haven't tasted it yet, then you have to taste it because I know you're gonna love it. You can have it warm with hot chocolate, with your coffee in the morning. Now this pan de elote is delicious when it's cold. So you can let it cool down completely. Wrap it up, put it in a nice tight sealed container and you can put it in your fridge and enjoy it the next day. Or you can have it right on the side with your favorite savory dish, pork chops, chicken, turkey, anything you want. That's why I think it's so perfect. So this is my pan de lote. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.